Lummi, thanks for joining us. The end of the 2023 trade period. How are you feeling? Um, thanks, Alex. Um, yeah, really good. Um, obviously, it's a culmination of a lot of work that goes into these few days. And you know, as a team, we're really, we're really happy with um, the outcomes. Three players coming in, starting with Tom Fullerton, a rook forward combo. Can you tell us a bit about him? Yeah, so Tommy, um, as I said earlier in the week, was um, a Brisbane Lions player, former elite junior basketballer, played, was at the Institute of Sport, played basketball for Australia, and then was a Category B signing to the Brisbane Lions. Um, played some really, really good footy there. Just got stuck this year um, in the queue behind their, their group of talls. But with Brady, growing, with Brady Grundy going out, we needed some, some coverage in that space. And Tommy's 25, he's really athletic. We think he's got a lot of growth in him. In him. He had nearly 60 shots at goal in the VFL this year. So he's got a nice combination of being able to play ruck and, and forward. So we're pretty excited about Tom. And Shane McAdam coming from Adelaide, what will he bring to the forward line and join the likes of Petty and Rui? Uh, yeah, I think everyone's going to be pretty excited to watch Shane. He's, um, he's our sort of player. He's talented and really tough. Um, he takes marks, he kicks goals, he hits hard. So putting him in the forward line, yeah, with Coz and Fritter and Jacob and Harrison and Cade and um, Coz and our other forwards, we're really, really excited about our forward line. And I think our fans are going to love watching Shane play. And finally, Jack Billings, what can we expect to see from him as well? You don't go pick three in the draft for no reason, and, and Jack's a, a quality player. He's had a tough little period with some, with some injury, particularly. Um, got a lot of class, Jack, um, really high footy IQ, uh, understands the game well, terrific runner. Um, so we think he'll bring another really good ball user decision maker into our group and a bit of experience. Um, we did lose a little bit of experience out of our depth this year with obviously JJ and Harmsey leaving and Luke Dunstan retiring, so it was important that we added some, um, some depth in there to complement the youth we have coming through. And a lot of speculation recently in the media about pets, um, but obviously we're happy to keep him in red and blue next year. Excited about that? Uh, yeah, no, Harris, Harrison's a such an important player for us. I think what we saw this year in the forward line and, and the combination of him and Jacob um, anchoring down in, in the big positions there combined with our, our other guys, um, yeah, we're, we're thrilled um, with that and our, our forward line's going to be really exciting this year. And lastly, two picks inside the top 11 ahead of the draft. How are we feeling about that? Yeah, it's a super position for us to be in. Um, at this stage, we'll probably only take two picks at the draft. So to have two inside 11 um, is a great spot. And we think we'll add two more elite young talents to, to the club. So, um, yeah, we're really happy with that.